there. You said it. You said it. We have a recording. I did. It's manifested. <laughs> How are you two doing today? Hi. Good, doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for doing this. This is such an amazing show. I got to see it last weekend, which unfortunately I think Kaylin, you were gone that weekend. No, I know. I'm sorry. I was <laughs> okay. I looked up. One of my best friends was getting married, and I had to be there. So no, I totally understand. I looked up some clips though, so I've heard you sing the songs. You're oh, both so you. amazing. <laughs> thank I'm you. My hand. Um, but I'll start with you, Kaylin. I know you were a part of the original Broadway cast and you did some of the understudies for the lead roles. What's it been like to see where this show has gone now with Broadway, with the award recognition, and then with a movie, and now you're on the tour in a lead role? How has it been for you? It's so exciting. I It's been such a wild journey. Like this show just means so much to me. It was my Broadway debut. So that in itself was just, just made it like sparkle, but the show on it on its own already sparkles. And it's been a huge part of, been a huge part of my life. It's been a huge part of my own personal journey. You know, I have been very public about, I only recently started going through my queer journey and coming out in, when was January? Something like that, you know on the course of this tour. Yeah. Um, so, you know, and the first time around when I did it, I was in uh, a hetero presenting relationship. And so I, it didn't give me that the first time. And the second time I came around it, you know, my, I was in a completely different life place. And so it gave me entirely different gifts. And I think that this show in whatever medium it exists in from, you know, the Broadway show to the book that was adapted after the, the show, uh, to Netflix, to all the like the tour and the regional productions that are going to be going up. I think this show is just like the gift that keeps on giving and it has so many communities to, to speak to and so many conversations to start. Uh, and not all pieces are like that. So I, it's been a blessing to be a part of this show that is um, truly having such profound ripple effects uh, in, in the communities that it touches. So it's really, it's been really cool. Very, very cool. And for Kaden, what was it, what was your first introduction to the prom and how has playing Emma kind of impacted your life? Yeah, um, so I heard about the prom, you know, as every theater kid does through like online sources and things, listen to the soundtrack. Um, and also, you know, it, it's rare that you have a queer protagonist on Broadway. So it, we just, especially w a woman, I think there's been like one prior to this. So um, I, I heard about it, listened to it, loved it, saw it on Broadway um in 2019 um went by myself sat in the mezzanine thought I was just gonna laugh and have a good time and I did laugh and have a good time and I also bawled my eyes out <laughs> um because I was so moved by the story and what it does it's very special um and very moved by Caitlin's performance and the whole cast and I just knew I wanted to be a part of it in any capacity I could be um, I think Emma is a really, really special, special character um, who is kind of the eye of the storm um, in the story. She's very steady and knows who she is. And her journey in the play is more about owning, owning who she already knows she is and, and, and capturing her pride. And I think that, that that's it's such a gift to be able to to do that every night. I think as queer people, you know, we always wish we could go back uh, to our younger self and like reclaim some of that. I don't think I had Emma's confidence at 17 years old. Um, so it's very healing and, and special to be able to, you know, go back to my younger self and kind of like, you know, rewrite the story a little through this, through this character. And um, I love, obviously, how close you two are. You've had quite a journey with this tour. For each of you, what is your favorite thing about having the other as a scene partner when you're on stage? What have you learned from the other? This human is I think amazing. You're, amazing. you're incredible. <laughs> I just, I like, I can't ask for a better scene partner. Uh, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. <laughs> it's, it's such a gift. So Kaylin missed uh, rehearsals, uh, fun fact because she was doing another show in San Diego at the uh -huh. Globe. Uh, so she came, uh, she joined us a day before tech rehearsals. Yeah, so we, I missed the entire rehearsal process. We had one day 
it was her and I only, and we rehearsed all our scenes. And you know, you'd done it, of course, already on Broadway, and so you were a pro and knew what you were but doing. That was two years prior because of pandemic. Yeah, it's still it's still crazy. But all that to say, like, you know, I remember that day so vividly. It was the first time I met you in person, mm -hmm. um, and. And I just remember thinking like, oh my gosh, this actor is so incredible. And like, just, she's so present and available and is, sorry, we got a plane flying. Oh, you're good. Um, <laughs> oh my God, that's low. It's above our head, like, um, or helicopter or something. Um, and I just remember thinking, oh my gosh, like I, this is gonna be such an incredible uh, tour because I, you know, I get to, I get to act with this this incredible artist. So yeah, you're pretty awesome. Right, about you, it's yeah, just your your presence and your you just bring all of yourself to to the character. And it's not just even about being present, but you're you're so open. You're vulnerable. You're vulnerable with me, and you're vulnerable with whomever is sharing the stage with you and with the audience. And I. I have a deep respect for for your craft because you take it very you take it very very seriously and you put in a lot of work and a lot of effort and time and energy and you care about doing justice to the stories you care about you you put the character and the story over your ego and I think that's one of the things that I respect the most about you because that's the most important part it is the the community that you're representing and the story that you're telling and not just how cool you can look <laughs> or mm. how how awesome people are going to think you are yeah in in the role you know it's the story that's really important to you and i think that that being the center of your focus um shines through in your performance and mm -hmm. i think that's why the audience like just loves and adores you by the end so much because you're not trying to impress you're trying to connect well geez i need to take this one <laughs> everywhere <laughs> i mean it's true everything all of you said is true from sitting in the audience i've seen it um, this show obviously has so many amazing songs, but one that I really loved was Principal Hawkins' song, We Look to You, because he talks about Broadway. It's a love letter to Broadway and to actors. And, you know, for me growing up, I did stage crew and stuff. I was always too scared to be in front, but like I would go watch musicals because they were just so much fun. Um, for you, each of you, what is an escape for you, whether it's like a movie or a TV show that's your comfort or it's an activity that you just go do to, to clear your mind? What is that thing that resets you? Mm, what a great question. I write poetry. Um, over the pandemic, I actually did a, a series of my own creation that I just did like hashtag a poem a day. And so I wrote at least one poem every day um, for like over for like two years. Uh, but I've but I've written poetry my whole life since I was a kid. And I have just pages and pages and pages and pages of stuff that I've written and never really done anything with yet. Yes. Uh, but that's one escape for me. That's another creative outlet for me. Um, I snuggle dogs at <laughs> opportunity. I agree. <laughs> um, I like that's like half a joke, but it's actually serious. No, it's I, really true. Animals are a huge um, grounding presence in my life. I just really, really love them, respect them. I snuggle them only if they want to be snuggled. Um, <laughs> but I, I really love, love spending time with animals. Um, love going on hikes, I think, Walk, yeah, walking, I like you being know. outdoors. Um, yeah, and I mean, it, as much as I think theater and performing gives me a lot, but it is my job it's our job now so like there also has to be other things like you said but oh but in terms of like what'd you say tv shows that we get oh, invested in i, I mean we're yeah. watching league of league of their own right now oh i just finished that and it is so good you have two more episodes <laughs> left i'm like okay everyone was like you have to watch it i was like obviously obviously and then and then it's so good i watched it and i was like oh people said it was gay but i didn't realize it was gay <laughs> <laughs> like, i just finished it as and then I just binged a bunch of interviews with the cast too, because I was like, now I need a season two. Yeah, right? yeah. We're, we're, try, we're trying to save it. We're trying to save it. Should never end. Ever. Yeah. I mean, if there's a season two, we could, let's just go ahead and dream cast <gasps> both of you on there somehow. Thank you. Let's do I mean, it. I'm already like, all right, get me in for that show. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, I know your tour is almost done. So do you have an idea of like the first thing you want to do 
to relax once this tour is over? Is it like a vacation? Or are you looking for your next job already? What is it? We are uh, move. We're well. We're moving to LA. Actually, we're moving out oh, here. Okay. We're sa- we just announced that we're saying that. <laughs> yeah, um, we're saying that. We uh we just uh dropped off our deposit. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know at this point, we're dating. <laughs> um so it's it's real we've made the tabloids now that's how we know we've made it (laughs) but so that's that is the first freaking thing that I want to do when this tour is over we just put our deposit down on a new apartment like five minutes from here so we're moving to LA and we're gonna set up our apartment and get it done and good Uh, yes (laughs) he agrees with that choice yay (laughs) that's amazing um uh, one thing I love with theater is watching the audience react. Like I watch all of you, but then I also love to see what songs get the crowd moving. And you have such a diverse crowd when you go see the show of all ages. Um, what is your favorite song when you're on stage to kind of peek out and see that reaction? To perform my favorite song is Zaz because it's it's a blast and we get to see Emma just like, just for a second, like take all of the 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 energy and joy and own and own herself. Um, and I I it's hard to see people when the spot's on you because you're just kind of blinded by you, the light. You more like feel people. Yeah, but I think yeah. Zaz, I really like feeling the audience's energy. Um, yeah, yeah, that would be mine. I I mean I love I love the finale. Most, most of my stuff with the audience is like heavy and hard. And so, and that's, that's rewarding in a different way. Like there's something, there's a totally different connection there, but in the finale, that's when we get to see people like dancing and getting excited. And like one of my favorite moments is like, you know, in when Alyssa is finally like coming out to her mom and she has this moment of like release, like oh my god I did it like sometimes the audience will really connect with that moment and they'll cheer and they'll get excited and I can't necessarily see them but I know how much it means to them and I love hearing how like "Ah!" like how excited they get or like when Emma and Alyssa kiss sometimes they scream and it's the best thing ever because you it's it's joyful for them and they are dying to see that by the end i like, remember seeing it on broadway and being like if they don't have them kiss yeah. i'm going to riot throw something there, right <laughs> there was one time what city was it in i like i'm not condoning this but i kind of secretly love this stuff like sometimes people will get so into it that they'll not they'll 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 participate so they'll not heckle but they'll like call out things or say things. Are they like, kiss her, kiss her? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> no, and what city was it? There was um one day the, I don't at that uh, that end scene after Alyssa comes out and Emma's like, what do we do now? And Alyssa says, there's only one thing I want to do. <laughs> and some guy in the front row was like, kiss her. <laughs> and like, it's a very sweet moment. So I just kind of like internally smiled, <laughs> but carried on with it. But like, that moment i just i love that stuff because everybody's like yes and like i just i love that stuff i'm not saying please don't scream at actors please (laughs) but sometimes you just connect to something so much you can't help yourself it's like church yeah exactly and 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 that's okay not in excess (laughs) but but that was a nice moment and i really appreciated it and it made my heart just go like (laughs) i loved it and I know you have a lot to do. So last question is just for people that haven't seen the tour left, there's a couple cities left that they have their chance to go see it. Why would you tell them to come get their tickets? Oh my gosh. I, this show is, is is so special in the way that it acknowledges the where we're at in the world. It acknowledges that we have a lot of work to do, but you still get to experience joy and hilarity and silliness and happiness at the same time. Mm-hmm. And I think that people... You know, it's, that's a very cathartic experience. I think we all could use a moment to come together and um, acknowledge the hard stuff and still dance our butts off and sing and smile. Um, so this show is very special in that way. And I also think it's a chance for people to feel seen. I think for mm-hmm. any queer person out there, um, this, is, this is a really special show, so. Yeah, yeah. I'd say ditto to all of that. It, uh... I, it, you don't you don't get very many shows like this with this kind of heart 
like truly. So, and I think that seeing it on stage is a very different experience than seeing it uh, through your screen. You just, you feel something that is only possible through live theater. So, and this is a really special group of people. Uh, and so once this tour is over, it'll never be repeated. And we're, you know, we have so many of us, our, our hearts and our souls are embedded in it. And so it's something really special for us to give every night. And we want to give that, you know, as much as we can before this tour ends. And so if you get a chance to come and see it and share that with us, please do, because I promise you won't regret it. Everyone, this show has something for everybody. And um, like you said, there's so much catharsis, there's so much joy. And I think that just post pandemic and in, in the world that we're living in right now, we need so much of that. I know it's not post, yeah. we're in the middle, but we, we need joy. We need joy, we need hope, uh, and we need healing. And this show offers all of that. Thank you so much for your time and congratulations on everything. I can't wait to see what you both do next. Hopefully it's a, another show and maybe you do one together again. Never know. Hey, that, let's make a career out of that. Right? Yeah, I, would, I would love that. I would love that. A League of Their Own and another musical together. Yeah. Yes! In the air. Like, 